Hello everyone, this is Steve with WordPress on a Budget. And in this video, we're going to talk about the free WordPress plugin Ninja Forms. So we're going to head on over to our dashboard for our test site that I run with Local by Flywheel. And I've already installed Ninja Forms here. Uh, if you haven't, if you want to follow along, you just go to Plugins, Add New, type in Ninja Forms, and it'll be the first one that comes up. And just hit install and activate. And when you do, we're going to go over to the Ninja Forms dashboard. As you can see, it's already got a, a form that comes loaded with it. You don't have to use this one, but we're going to use it for this video. If you want to, you can add new. You can add a blank form, a contact us form, an event registration form, or quote request form. Uh, if you click blank, You will see, uh, well, one of my favorite features with Ninja Forms, you get all these common fields, user information fields, pricing fields. You get everything without updating to the pro version. And you can just click here, hit click, name, last name, um, city, just whatever you might want to put in your form. Just drag it over. And then you can click on the edit here it'll come up and you can edit the label and where you want the label position is it a required field or not everything else but we're going to get out of this for now click the X up here yep now I mentioned the pro version with that you get to add just extras to it uh, you can change the layout and style you can change the file uploads um, you can add MailChimp, PayPal, Stripe, Zapier, Aweber. So you're just adding functionality to it. Which is, like I said, one of the reasons I like this is because you get everything you need to create a decent form without having to go pro. And then if you want extra functionality with it, then that's what you pay for. So we'll go back up to Forms. And we're going to click here, and we're going to edit this form to put it in our page. Now, as you can see, this is a standard contact form, name, email, message, submit button. And it's almost perfect. I'm going to go and show you how to add something to it here. If you click the little plus button down here, you can add a field. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to drag an anti-spam over here. Then we're going to click edit. We're going to add a question. What is 2 plus 2? Oops. And we're going to give it a numeric answer of 4. Now I prefer these kind of questions because if you have an answer that needs to be spelled out, Ninja Form sees it all as lowercase letters. So if they type in an uppercase letter when they type in your answer, it's going to come out wrong. I'm going to show you how to get around that, but that's one of the reasons I stick with numeric value. If you want to get really tricky here, you can go restrictions. You can limit, say, one, because you only want one character imported to four. And then you can come down here to advance, and in the placeholder, just put something like numeric value or numeric answer kind of give them a hint that you're looking for the number four now of course the advance is option the restriction is optional but if you want to use the answer as four as the word and again you don't have to use restrictions but you could put four there if you want to and you can go down to advance and right here and just put spell answer in all lowercase so that kind of gives your user a hint that you know you had to spell for as the answer and then it all has to be in lowercase and then it'll go through just like it should and just hit done and it adds it in there and then you can preview your changes 
and you'll see it looks something like this. Contact me, which is the title of your form. And everything's sitting right here. So we're done there. We can hit publish. And now it is ready to be put on your web page. But first I want to go through some of these buttons like emails and actions. You can tell it where to store uh, email confirmation. It will send it out to whoever puts their email in that says your submission has been confirmed. Email notification goes to you, the system admin email, and tells you that you actually have a message. And then of course a success message that is sent to the user saying your form has been su submitted successfully. And you can turn these off if you don't want to use them right here. And then in the advance, I won't go through all of them. The restriction calculation is a little much for this video, but at least in display, here's the title of your form. You can title it whatever you want. Or you can cut the title off so it won't display, which is what I'm going to do. And then the other two here, clear successful completed form and then hide successfully completed form. And you can cut those on and off too if you want. So we're going to hit done. We're going to hit publish again since we cut the title off. And then once we're done, we're going to go ahead and click X. And that will take us back to the dashboard. And with that, we're going to need the short code. So I'm going to copy that real quick. And we're just going to go to just the standard page that WordPress gives us. And we're just going to edit the sample page. So this is the sample page that you get. I'm just going to take out some of this so we don't have to look so far. Now there's two ways you can answer or answer. There's two ways you can put your ninja form on your page. The first is you can append it right here to the bottom. Just go over here. Contact me was the title of the form we used, and if you have more than one, they'll all be listed right here. Hit update. And then once your page is update, we want to view it. And as you can see, here is our form appended to the very bottom of the page. The title now is missing. And it's the same form you saw that we made over in the Ninja Form dashboard. Now the other way to do this is you do not have to append it to the bottom. Let's say we want it right here in the middle. So we're going to click here. We're going to paste in that short code that we had. Click update again. And again we're going to view page. And as you will see, the form is now in the middle of the two paragraphs. And it's really that easy. It'll work it'll send it right out of your uh, WordPress all the required fields that you see with the stars all of them have their own error messages that says they have to be filled in the only thing I have an issue with with not only ninja forms but some of the other forms is most of the other forms is the lack of customization so as you can see, go back to the sample page, the form looks good. It's functional. But it's just simple black and white. Now I'm using the WordPress 17 template here. So, you know, the black and white kind of fits in. But obviously, your site's going to be different, different colors, different everything. And there's just no easy way to customize them. So what I want to show you, we're going to hit customize right here. And as you see, it loads in the customizer for this theme, 2016, from that page so we can see our form. And I just want to make it, you know, look a little better. You know, in this case, I'm thinking, you know, maybe a black background, white lettering. So I'm going to go to the additional CSS. I'm going to paste in some code here and then I'll explain it to you. And do something like that. So what I did was go in and I changed the background color to black. 
I changed all the field and label names to white. Add a little bit of padding inside. Put a little back shadow, uh, box shadow on the form. You can see just a little bit here, just enough to make it raise up. And then I rounded the corners. And it just makes it a little bit nicer. And if you want to, you can go in here and, you know, make the background color whatever you want. Blue. If I spelled blue right. Uh, change these to black. So you can make all kinds of changes that you want using this code. And I'll put this code in the uh, description below. But it adds just a little bit, just enough. Put all this back. You know, to give it a little, a little touch of something. To not make it look so blah. Now, the one thing you have to remember when doing this is that any custom CSS that you add to the theme customizer, such like we did right here, is only available to that particular theme. So if you change themes, you're going to have to copy this custom CSS out and put it into the new theme. Another easier way to do this is another free plugin you can get called Simple Custom CSS Plugin. And I'll put a link to that in the description. We can add this custom CSS to that plugin and it'll work straight across no matter what. So if you wanted to keep this, you just hit publish. Then you come over here and click X. And the page will load up and this is what your form would look like. Now obviously I'm using a sample page that comes with WordPress. I haven't done anything else, left the sidebar and all that in it. But I think you get the general idea of how to use it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Ninja Forms. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below. And as always, I thank you for joining me and see you next time.